Hello guys, Jagmeer Singh back with another video of SolidWorks 2020 and in this video I will show you how to use mirror entity feature in a sketch. So let's get started. So first of all, as you can see that I have my part open up which is part 1. I'm just going to randomly make any sketch on front plane. So I'm going to choose front plane and one click on sketch. So which takes me inside a sketch. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make any random closed feature. Let's say I can make any profile. And I'll, I'm just going to show you how mirror entity actually works and what are requirements for one. So let's say I make a diamond shape on the left hand side, on the left quadrant, something like this. All right. So now the thing is, if I want to have the same circle, the same shape on the right hand side, there are two ways. Either I can simply repeat or remake another circle or another triangle or diamond shape here. That is one way. But let's say if I have to make more and more features or something that is very complex, then I would personally recommend to use the mirror entity instead of making it repetitively. So how do you use it? It's right here. As you can see, it says mirror selected entities about a center line or a planar re reference. So it means that we need a center line. So from the center of the region, any line upward or downward doesn't matter. So this will act as an axis for us in order to make an image of this particular feature on the right hand side of the screen so let's say if i select the entire thing you can see line one two three and four are selected which is the whole rectangle or parallelogram then when i click on mirror entities it automatically selected entities to mirror or let me show you if i haven't selected anything I, I'm just going to click on mirror entities. Now it's asking me to select entities to mirror. I will select the entire entities, all four of them. And now it's saying that mirror about. So I have to click on it. Mirror about is always the axis or the reference about which you want to mirror about. So I'm going to click this particular center line that we made. And you can see it's going to make the same shape at the same distance. That's another thing. On the other side, so just like an image. And I click OK, I can exit out, and you can see that OK. Now instead, I can extrude this particular feature if I want to, or whichever way I would like to. I, I can do the same thing with the other side as well. Or I can simply select the sketch and click extrude, and it will let me do whatever i want to so now let's talk about other features as well so let's say if we have something that is symmetrical taking the example of the same diamond shape that i had what i'm going to do is instead i'm going to delete the boss extrude and i'm just going to have sketch which is a straight line, which was the center line that we made. So instead of making the whole triangle, I could have done half of the triangle. So a semi triangle, and then clicked on mirror entity, selected these two lines, mirror about basically right here, the axis, and click OK. So that will give, give us one of the half of the profile we just need to make one half of the profile and the other half we can just replicate it by making it through the mirror entities so that's the best feature as we can work with and then again we can use a extrude feature and then we can simply extrude the particular sketch and then we have a plate or whatever shape you want to call this as so that's how mirror entities work i hope you enjoy the video and I will be posting more and more videos 
and let me know in comments if you need to know any particular feature that I might not have discovered or not have discussed in any one of my videos in the past and I would love to explain you guys that particular feature or instruction whichever way you would like to learn from me thank you so much for watching and take it easy bye